Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. In today's video, what I want to talk about is how to get into IT and what certification you should get as a beginner. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in my opinion, the first couple certifications you should get is your A plus certification, your network plus certification, and then your security plus certification. Okay, so these are the three certifications that'll give you f the fundamental of hardware software, some basic network fundamentals, and the basic security concepts, okay? And I didn't do it that route, and I'll tell you about my, my journey in a minute, but that's the three certifications you should get when you're starting out. If you're a pizza man yesterday and today you woke up and you said, I wanna be an IT professional, that's what I would suggest, okay? And after you get these three certifications, then maybe you can get some Microsoft certification, like your MCSE and your CCNA. And then maybe, you know, if you want to go into VMware, VCP, you're the VMware Certified Professional, or if you want to go the ethical hacker route, Certified Ethical Hacker, that's an entry level slash mid, uh, I guess entry level certification. And that's that'll give you the basic uh, breakdown of you know, the three areas, your hardware, software, your networking, and then your security. That's the big ones today, right? And the cloud and all these other stuff, but we're just gonna stay focused on those today, okay? So, which ones should you get after that? Say, for example, you have all three of these, which ones, sh what avenue should you go? Systems or networking? That's totally up to you, okay? I wanna give you my way and my journey that I did, okay? So back about 14 years ago, 13 or 14 years ago now, I started on a help desk position at a local call center. My first certification was the Microsoft Certified Professional. And then my second certification was the Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician. Okay, my MCDS, MCDST and then the MCP. Okay, I had those certifications for about six to, six to eight months. And then after that, I left that help desk position and I got into a local IT company that we would do local installs, you know, server installs, uh, you know, running cable, patching cables down, the whole thing, you know. So at that, at that company, we were using Active Directory. When I was at, at the call center, we weren't. We were just doing basic desktop troubleshooting, you know, reformatting your computer, backing up your data you know, go into task manager, killing some tasks, you know, you know, MS config, kill some startup stuff. So at this time, I wanted to get my Microsoft Certified System Engineer in Windows Server 2003, because that's what we were using. And then gradually we'll go into 2008 at that time. So that's what I did. I did the seven exams and I got my MCSE. Okay, after the MCSE, then I went backwards and then I did my A+. Network Plus, and then Security Plus, okay? So that was my journey, and the reason why, because where I was at that time, you know, I was already in a desktop position, so I didn't say, where do I wanna be? I need to get A Plus, Network Plus, Security Plus, and then I can find out. I actually landed a gig, and then I was working with what I had, right? And then after that, after I was there for about three years, two, three years, I wanted to get more into networking, and you know broadening my skills you know and i got into you know some networking gigs doing some routing some switching installing ap's doing some wireless and then i got introduced to the ccna so after my ccna i went up the ladder you know you used ccna ccmp and ccie you can go all the way to ccde design you know design expert I have a design professional, I have my CCDP, but, and then I, you know, I was super intrigued with security. Security really intrigued me. I, you know, it's, till today, I just liked how you can just manipulate the system and defend against the bad guys, right? So at that time I was doing my undergrad degree. I have a undergrad and a master's degree in cybersecurity and then during my, my studies, I did my Certified Ethical Hacker, Certified Hacking Forensics Investigator, Licensed Penetration Tester, and then my ECSA from EC Console. So those certifications I have as well, that's what really brought my 
my ethical hacking skills to shine. That's what made me really, really, you know, happy about what I was doing and what I wanted to do is, is be a pen tester because that's what was intriguing to me. So I did the system side, I did the networking side. Now I'm in the security side. So that's pretty much how I got into it. And you can get into it too, right? Like you have the whole world in front of you. And I want to get a little bit of, uh, I want to get into a little bit about labbing, right? Because when I started, I had to get 10 computers, hook them up, have a switch and have like a whole rat's nest in my room at that time because I was, st you know, still an undergrad and I had a room, you know, renting a room at that time and I had all this stuff in one little room. It was a nightmare. But in 2019, nearly 2020, you don't need that anymore. You have the beauty of virtualization and emulated uh, emulated environment, simulated environment. So you have VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, VMware Player, you know, uh, there's, you know, there's Citrix, there's a few other hypervisors, but those are the, those are the top, top dogs. And then if you want to get into networking, you can do Cisco's Packet Tracer. It's free 99. Okay. So you don't need to go on eBay and get, you know, spend a hundred bucks on routers and switches. You can, I'm not saying don't, but you can do that if you like the physical stuff. But why do you need that when you have Packet Tracer? especially if you want to do your CCNA, that's perfectly fine. You know, if you get to CCNA, excuse me, CCIE level, you can use, you know, EVNG and GNS3, but then it's better to get maybe some physical gear to get, but that's, that's long ways down the road, right? So that's, you know, you can lab up with that. You can download emulators. You can download evaluation copies of Windows if you want to stay on the system side, evaluation copies of the client stuff, Windows XP, excuse me, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, you know, Windows 7 is going out the window soon as well, their support. But, you know, the sky's the limit today. So this is what I wanted to make this video for, just to open up the doors and how you can get into IT and what I did to get into IT. And that's what I did. I actually, like I said, started from the bottom, now I'm here. You know that song from Drake? Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's what I, pretty much I did. I started from the bottom. You know, I'm not really where I want to be 100%, but I'm about 95% where I really want to be. Maybe I have a few extra steps and a few milestones to, to cross, but I'm nearly there, right? Like I, I accomplished a lot in 13 to 14 years. Um, and I'm more than happy to share with the world about the tools I use every day. Um, this is why this channel has been developed. I want to share. I want to let the people know that they're not alone that we all can, you know, collaborate as a community and we can all share together. I'm all for that. So let's keep that rolling. Let's keep this journey going. And without the further ado, please like, subscribe and comment below for any other videos you'd like to see. I've been asked this question a million times, how to get into IT, what certifications to get. And this is what this video is all about. So hopefully it's been informative for you. And I thank you guys for checking me out. InfoSec Pat.